Hey everybody, what's going on? It is Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game called Elfin Roads. So here's the rule book. It says Elfin Land, but I actually have Elfin Roads, and I'm actually going to be playing on the Elfin Sea side of the board. So the road, um, before I go into it any further, if you want to check out our full review, you can click the link in the video description. Otherwise, stick around here, and I'll show you how this works. All right, so this is an expansion to Elfin Roads, which is basically like a deluxe box of Elfin Lands. There's a whole bunch of different kinds, but in this version I have, there's another side of the board that's Elfin Roads, which is less villages. And then there's Elfin Gold that you can play on that side of the board, which is an expansion. And there's Elfin Sea, which I have set up here, which is a little different than Roads. So I'm going to show you that one, okay? So to set up, you're going to put a, uh, a cube of all the players down on each of the, the, the cities, which I've done. There are 30 of them on this side. There's 20 on the other side of the board. So in theory, this game is easier, I guess, since you can possibly collect more, more tiles or more cubes. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get all of these bonus tokens out. They'll have this back. They have a thing on the side. And you're either going to put them in a face-down pile or you can shuffle them and kind of uh, head them off to the side of the board. But I put them in a, a cup because I like the cup. And that's just how I like to roll with it. So that's that. Then you're going to use, uh, put the the travel tokens, again, in a face down box or a pile or put them in a cup. They have the, this back. And you're going to draw five of them. And each player is going to get, I believe, eight cards. Yes, eight cards. And you're going to shuffle all the cards at the beginning. And it's going to tell you which of the cards to use because you're not going to use all the cards that come with the game because there's only certain modes of travel that work on this board, and that'll make sense in a minute. Each player will put their, their marker, which are these cool boots, in Elf Haven. Someone will be first player, and each player will take a face-down travel token. It's a secret that nobody knows about, and we're going to have... Each player will also get one of these cards, which tells you the type of travel token and what land they can move on. I just have the tile here for my reference, and you'll have round markers one through four, Okay. And then we're ready to play. Now, the way this game works is on your turn, before we get going here, we're going to be drafting some tiles. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to put tiles down on roads, okay? So we can play cards to move on that road. For example, if I put a dragon here, dragon to fly through that type of terrain would take two, two cards. But if I put a dragon on this path, it would take one card because that's a, an easier mode of travel for a dragon. I can't put dragons on, on water because they cannot travel over water for some reason, even though they can fly. Okay, if I wanted to use the cloud, the cloud, you can see here, he'll be two here, two here, and in the mountains, one cannot go on um, the green, no, uh, on rivers and or sea, okay? So there's the cloud. And then if I wanted to use the unicorn, the unicorn can go, where is the unicorn? Right here, it cannot be out in the open because again, you're never gonna see a unicorn out in the open. Uh, it'll be one in the trees, two in the desert, and it cannot go on water. I guess the cloud can go on water. The cloud can go, you can spend two cards to go over water with the cloud, so the cloud can. Then there's also a whale and rafts. They're not tokens, but they will be cards that, that will let you move up, down river, or across the sea. Okay, the whale only lets you move across the sea. All right? And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get to build routes to play cards, which match those those tokens, to collect as many cubes as we can. Okay, that's that's the, the gist of the game. If we get down and take a cube from these cities, we get to take one of these tokens, and these tokens will let us, they can be used as a travel token later, or we can discard them to get extra cards, all that kind of thing. I'm probably not going to get down there for the sake of this video, but I wanted to show you. So if you go to this city, you would draw four of them and keep two. You go to this city, you draw two, keep one. It just adds a little bit of extra ways to get cards, do more movement, all that kind of thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So first thing that happens is, in turn order, each of the players are going to take three face-up um, travel tokens. Or you can take from the, the cup and it will stay face down, all right? Your choice. For the sake of this overview, I'm just going to draw from the cup and turn them all face up. Okay? But just know you can take from the, the pile here if you want, however you want to do it. All right, so this player has two unicorns, a pig, 
and then a face down one which is a unicorn so they have a lot of unicorns and then this player has unicorn dragon and I'll use a cloud that way I can have a whole bunch of different types and then when that gets used up you flip a new one they're gonna take a cloud flip and then we'll do two of them unicorn and I'll take a dragon all right just so we can have some variability here okay then we're ready to play on in turn order what we're gonna do is we're gonna start placing tokens out onto the board to build routes okay once everybody has passed doing this then we can move into the card phase I'm only gonna show you one round of this game because this is gonna do the same thing four times so these are my cards I have dragon pig whale which lets you move one card across water dragon pig whale and two more pigs okay so i'm going to try to plan my route accordingly to be able to get as far as i can so i know i have two whales so i can go one whale two whale uh so i could go one boom okay then i have a pig pig can go through here so that'll be good i'll put a pig there um a pig can go here okay yeah i think we're good all right so i'm gonna go ahead and for my first tile i'm going to place a pig here okay actually i'll place a pig here and then they'll do their thing i'm not going to build all their routes but i just want to show you how this works then i would come it would come back to me i have a unicorn i don't have any unicorn cards so that doesn't really help me any um so i'll actually put a unicorn here in case i want to go there they'll do their thing i'll put a unicorn here and i'll explain why i'm going to do that later and then i'll put a unicorn here okay again they have all their tokens out for the sake of this i'm not going to do that i'm just going to take my turns so you can see how the game would work okay so the way this game works after all the tokens are out and everybody passes i could have kept a token back if i wanted to uh, but i didn't i put them all out on the board anything that's on the board at the end of the round will go away so i'm going to go ahead and play after all everybody's out then when it's your turn you're going to play your cards to move okay so let's just go ahead and do it i'm going to play a whale I am I'll say the black player I'm gonna go here one whale can go across one space so I got a black cube okay easy as that next card I'm gonna play a whale and I'm gonna come down here because again one card one space done okay next there's a pig so I can play a pig go here take a cube all right there's a unicorn now I don't have any unicorn cards so what I can do is I can spend three of any card in my pile and I can go this way and I can grab this cube. Now I only have two cards. It's a unicorn. I can't do anything else. So that would be my turn. On my turn, I collected four cubes. Okay. Everybody else will do the same thing. You discard your cards. Um, and that's that. So I keep these cards. At the end of the round, we're going to keep the cards. First player is going to pass. I broke the thing it's going to pass and then we're going to do all that again we'll get our hand shuffle back up to eight we'll shuffle all the cards in the discard deal back up to eight and then all the tokens that are on the board will come off we'll get new tokens we'll seed it onto the board again just like with that then once every, once the tokens are on the board we're going to move the goal of the game is after four rounds whoever has the most cubes is the winner there are some tiebreakers in the rule book because that will happen occasionally and you're also going to get going to get points for collecting these tokens as well whoever has the most of each type of the token will get some points so if you don't use them throughout the game you can keep them for points should you get down into these areas um, again they can let you get cards at be additional travel tokens all that kind of thing but they're also used for points so that is one thing and that's the game uh, try to be as efficient as you can taking travel tokens moving around the map uh, trying to collect as many cubes as you can Elfin Roads are the same thing. There's a little, a few more travel types because um, there's a, one more, I think, different type of terrain. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a, a similar vibe, just less places to go. So that is Elfin Sea from Elfin Roads Deluxe Edition or whatever it's called. Again, if you want to check out our full review, you can click the link in the video description. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And as always, keep gaming. Mm -hmm.